Now let's take a look at what is known as a mixed aldol reaction. When two unique carbonyl containing compounds are mixed in the presence of base, a mixture of aldol products can result. We can understand the formation of all four products shown in the box on the right by thinking about the enolate being formed from the ketone and attacking the aldehyde, which would result in structure A, or an enolate of the ketone attacking another ketone, which would result in structure C. Additionally, an enolate could be formed at the aldehyde and attack the ketone, which would result in structure B. And finally, the last product can be attained by forming an enolate of the aldehyde and then nucleophilic attack on another aldehyde, which would result in structure D. As you can see, a mixture of products is highly unfavorable and therefore steps have been taken to overcome these problems. One way in which chemists have avoided a mixture of products in mixed aldol addition reactions is by utilizing one carbonyl component with no alpha hydrogens. Under basic conditions, when one of the compounds contains no alpha hydrogens, it can't form an enolite. Therefore, its only role in this reaction will be as an electrophile. The ketone, however, has four alpha hydrogens that can all be deprotonated. Another advantage in this reaction is that an aldehyde is more electrophilic than a ketone due to less steric hindrance. The take home message here is by knowing the mechanistic pathway of how a reaction occurs, we can overcome the problems associated with it and obtain a single desirable product. Another way in which chemists have avoided the mixtures of products that result is by first preforming the enolate with the LDA and then adding it to the second carbonyl component. As you can see in this reaction, we're not restricted to using only one carbonyl component that contains alpha hydrogens. So by knowing that LDA quantitatively forms the enolate product, we can form it first and then add it to the second carbonyl compound, knowing that the second carbonyl component will act as an electrophile upon addition of the nucleophilic enolate. This reaction sequence typically gives good yield of a single product.